guys, so this is a second video for today. Um, I just did the Barbie trench coat outfit kind of like show show uh, and tell to you guys. So I was like, what's the right way to describe that? It's not really like a review, but it's more just like a uh, show and tell. Um, but so for this video, I was sort of just like brainstorming different topics and different things in my mind that I thought would be very, very important to me to talk about. Uh, and, you know, I've come to the conclusion that, um, I really want to talk about adversity and sort of being different and how, you know, there's a lot of struggles with that and that also, um, like just, you know, internally and then externally in the world and how it all sort of plays together, you know, as you're going through life and, you know, to touch on like being different and like what that means. And, you know, there's a whole spectrum in terms of what it means to be different. And that's like an umbrella term. Um, different can mean a lot of different things. Um, but I think that one of the general consensus of that is that, you know, you don't fit in with a norm of some type uh, within your archetype or within your uh, current state of self. Like other people who uh, might be similar to you or connected to you, maybe there's something different about you. That it could be your personality, it could be sexuality, it could be gender, it could be all different kinds of things. Um, it could be what you like, what you don't like, uh, you know, hobbies, collections, um, interests, passions, jobs, um, spirituality, uh, mentality, like all different kinds of things. So there's a huge, you know, spectrum of being different and I won't like go into like too much of a specific on it, but I just wanted to talk sort of in more of like general terms. Sorry, I grabbed some water really quick. Um. And, um, so, I don't know. So, you know, my whole life I've been different and I haven't ever fit into a mold or a crowd or I've always been on the outside looking in and, you know, it definitely makes you develop in a different way, I think, psychologically and sort of your view on the world and stuff. And I think that... A lot of times once, you know, we have been excluded or, you know, we're aware of the differences that we have and that if we can't make a connection with the world around us, that it's going to, or people reject us or treat us badly or anything of that nature, I think that, you know, that definitely sort of changes how, you know, our frequencies, like it changes the way that our, you know, survival techniques, the way that we interpret people, and all kinds of things. Like, it really, it, it implements us a different kind of survival, and we're like, okay, well, you know, you sort of feel like, it's not necessarily jaded, but maybe you have extra, like, armor on when you're meeting people, talking to people, or maybe you avoid people now due to adversity or different hardships from being different. And, um... I just wanted to say that, you know, I am somebody who, I get it, like I really do, and I want my channel to, and my message on my channel to be that, you know, it's okay to be different, it's okay to be your unique self, that's beautiful, and to know that you have an ally, which would be me out here, that says that, you know, I love you unconditionally and it's okay and there are people out there um, that you can find and bond with because something that can be really scary about being different is that, you know, you feel like you're never going to find your tribe. Tribe meaning like your people, the people you connect with and really sort of vibe with and like, you know, they get you and, you know, you're not a black sheep in that group and you're not... Um, ostracized or alienated and like you just sort of figure out that you find that family of you know friends loved ones um, maybe your partner and then you really mesh and I know that that can be a really really tough journey I definitely struggle with finding my people um, 
and you know I think that it's it's really hard because maybe you go into certain situations and stuff and you think like maybe I'll meet people or you go different places and you think maybe I'm going to meet somebody who I can really connect with and if you don't then you sort of set yourself up like for bad feelings and you might feel like really disappointed um, and sort of discouraged and stuff but um, I think that you know have visibility like Hopefully I can connect with some of you guys on here um, that, you know, maybe feel different or sort of like have a hard time connecting or things like that. Um, I'm definitely open to talking to you guys and meeting, um, you know, new people in terms of like discovering channels or like if you guys ever have topics you want to talk about or things like that, just know that I'm an open ally for that and that um, I care about people who don't fit like within different groups or norms because I myself experience that and I'm not judging um, in any way. Like, I, I really don't, um, have anything that I have, like, prejudice about or something like that. I am a very open-minded person, um, but, you know, that's sort of me saying that, but I think that through my actions and a lot of things in life that, that is, that is true for me, that, you know, I've experienced many different walks of life and that, um, you know, all of that knowledge and information and all of the experiences that I've gone through have definitely tuned my, my, um, feelings and emotions and empathy, sympathy, and understanding of different people and the world around me. And I'm not focused on a comfort zone, per se, of people. Like, I'm not, I'm not looking for a specific type of person that like sort of mirrors me in a way. I'm okay with getting to know different walks of life and um, you know I think that that's beautiful and then finding like connection together. Maybe it's not an identical connection but maybe it's something that you both can sort of understand and from there you know um, something blossoms from that um, like and even if it's just the reassurance and I think that the other part of me making this video is just to say that, like, know that if you feel alone, like, hi, I am out here, I understand, like, I totally get you, and that you're not alone, and that, um, you know, it's, life is a really crazy journey, and, you know, there's so much that goes on in the world that is... I don't know, I think that we're getting there in terms of life, like we're getting to a place where we're starting to care about people, but I think that um, we still have a long way to go and that it can be very difficult for people who, you know, don't fit a certain mold in society or, you know, maybe it's a cultural thing um, that it's really hard to sort of connect you know, whatever it is, um, just know that that isn't a bad thing and that your differences don't make you inadequate or invalid. Know that, you know, your differences are valid and that you are a valid person and that you're respected and loved and that, um, you know, the more that you develop yourself and put yourself out there and in safe ways, of course, then, you know, you can stumble upon different connections with different people. And I've definitely connected with different people and had different experiences throughout my life that I'm really grateful for, um, that I think are just extremely important and that have definitely kept me motivated and, um, not so afraid of people. Um, because, you know, things happen to people and it changes them. And, you know, just to know that, you know, your experiences don't have to set up your future. The past is in the past and things that have wronged you or that have been unfair or, you know, those types of things. Like, there's a new day for all of us 
and um, never stop pushing forward to that dream that you have for yourself. Um, because I know that, like, I'm sure the Robert Frost poem, The Road Less Traveled or The Road Not Taken, um, that poem really speaks to me. I know it speaks to a lot of people, and it's just sort of how, you know, we're on a path that is totally, like, gnarled and not, you know, it's not just a clear path. It's, like, filled with, like, trees and, you know, divots and things blocking in the way and like we're sort of paving our own path in life and our own self-development and sort of figuring out how to navigate in the world um, with our differences and like what that means about our relationships with people, our friendships, um, romantic relationships, etc. Even our families, ourselves, our relationship with ourselves even, you know. Um, having and learning sort of like how to unconditionally love and accept yourself can be a very hard thing for, I mean, many people, they might not even be aware of that. Um, but I just, I don't know, this video is kind of all over the place and I apologize for that. But, um, I just, I really, um, something that is important to me to get out there is just that I'm not somebody who judges and I try not to be deluded by, you know, the crap that society sort of like, you know, cultivates and sort of makes you ingest or maybe like, you know, just that kind of stuff. I am not somebody who is out to make people feel bad or anything. I'm definitely somebody who wants to uplift and make people feel like, you know, they're valid and special and beautiful. And, um, yeah, I, I think that that also kind of ties into something else. Like I like to compliment people a lot and I know that that's sort of like, whoa, like those are two different, like we're sort of, that's a different like pathway in itself. Compliments, how could they be like a serious thing? But, um, I find that really like complimenting people is, a wonderful thing because I love getting compliments, um, especially if they're warranted, like they're in the right kind of situation. You know, I don't like the whole like, you know, comments or people are, are you know, sort of like they don't get what they're saying and they don't really mean it in a nice way. Um, I prefer the compliments that come from within that are from a loving, caring place. Um, and I love giving those types of compliments out. And you know, just telling somebody like, hey, I really love your nails, or I love your necklace, or wow, your hair is like really awesome. I love that haircut. Or, you know, if you see people take risks or be adventurous, like, um, and you feel positive about that and you like that, let that person know, you know, it might be their first day with this new haircut, or it might be um, something really different that they've never done before. So letting that person know that, you know, you can help validate and reaffirm that this is like awesome and cool is a really positive and special thing. Um, and yeah, I mean, and I think that it not only benefits the person you're complimenting, but it also benefits yourself because you definitely feel, you know, like good after you feel like, wow, like I'm glad I have that connection with that person. And I'm glad that I could, you know, make them smile or, you know, just that experience. So I know that this video is kind of all over the place, um, but I just would like to sort of give more to my character as a person. Like I know that I do a lot of videos on like makeup and dolls and stuff like that, but I also want you guys to know who the girl in the videos is, you know. Um, I think that that's really important in a channel as well um, to understand not only the videos and the content that somebody puts out, but sort of the character that the person has who makes this, the videos themselves. So that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And, you know, if you're different, I, I'm in your tribe. I feel you. I've got your back and I support you. And I want you to follow your dreams and never give up and always believe in yourself. And yeah, that's like my main, my main message with this video. 
Um, there are people out there who understand and that uh, we will find one another and, you know, we will find our tribe. So, yeah, uh, I'll catch you in my next video.